Hi everyone, today we are going to look at front door fashion. My stylist Bethany has put together a Barbenheimer box for me. I have been to the movies and saw Barbie, absolutely loved it. Have a review right here. Barbenheimer is the amalgamation of Barbie and Oppenheimer trends. Super excited and I can't wait to show you all the outfits that Bethany has put together for me. Also, this is a collaboration with them. Even though they're not paying me, if you choose to join their subscription boxes, it's an on-demand service. Follow my link, there's a link down below that will take you to their questionnaire. And that questionnaire will ask you everything there is about your style and they can send you a box. You give them $100 as a deposit. And if you don't use $100 once you purchase whatever they send you, or if you purchase nothing, they will refund you that $100. The wonderful thing about the service is that you work with your personal stylist. I've been working with Bethany now for I think over a year and I just love her style. I love her understanding of my needs and um, many of you have actually contacted me asking for her name so that you can work through her. If you purchase anything using my link below, you get $50 off and I get $50 off. Yay. All right, let's get started. With your box, usually you have a little script that tells you how she went about putting together the outfits and how they need to be worn. I love that. She goes, hi, Catherine. It's wonderful to collaborate on another box with you. I hope you've been having a wonderful summer full of sun, fun and leisurely activities like relaxing by the pool, patio cocktails with friends, and perhaps the occasional matinee. <laughs> and that is my segue into the theme of this box, Barbenheimer. According to Wikipedia, Barbenheimer is an internet phenomenon that began circulating ahead of the simultaneously theatrical release of two films, Barbie and Oppenheimer, diametrically opposed in genre. This has provoked a comedic response from internet users that has gone viral. Variety magazine even called Barbenheimer the movie event of the year. And so as it goes, art imitates life and life imitates imitates art and this box imitates Barbenheimer. <laughs> Super cute. So the idea really is that you would go and the teens, my teens are the ones that talk about this, you would go in to watch both Barbie and Oppenheimer the same day and then there's always like a which one should you watch first, depending on your kind of person you are. So if you are prone to getting depressed, watch Oppenheimer first and then go on to Barbie. So for this very first outfit, as you know, Barbie core was announced as a trend as far back as last autumn and winter. And you can hear more about that in that video I mentioned earlier today. And only someone as popular as Barbie could propel such a bold trend to the masses. Here is how to wear Barbie pink. IRL in real life. The first outfit is the pink trousers plus the white texture surplus bodysuit and the pink window pane blazer. And tell me how to say surplus because I never know. Is it supplies or surplus? I don't know. Let me know if you know how to say that word. Pair this look with nude low block heels or your new fabulous pink shoes. I actually have both. Pretty similar. As far as block, I don't have that, but I'll show you a couple of shoes that this company called Vivaya, Vivaya, Vivaya has sent me and these are just perfect. I wore them on the day I went to watch uh, the Barbie movie. And the other pair is nude, but not, not really uh, blocky. It's more like a little, it's blocky from this angle. Anyway, I'll wear both and you guys tell me which one you prefer. Great for work, business dinners, and family occasions. Remove the blazer and add a statement earring for a night out look. 
Let's take a look. This little top right here is so thin. It's like just gossamer. And so are the pants, which is nice if you wanna if you don't want to have a heavy outfit underneath your jacket, especially in the summer. But yeah, this is a cute work outfit and definitely for Easter or a summer holiday during Barbie core season. <laughs> Check out how cute the inside has a blue silk lining and pink. Just unique, different, very nice. I think this is made in Spain. And of course my gingerberry earrings, so cute. All right, for our second look, we have the dark wash denim, the pink cotton candy blouse, and a pale pink knit blazer. Front tuck the blouse and let the sleeve cuffs peek out of the blazer sleeves. An effortless date night look for, say, dinner and a movie. <laughs> She's hilarious. But anyway, this is a lovely outfit. I actually adore the jeans. I have been looking for jeans such as these for a while and the price is right. It's in my budget, so I will probably be getting the jeans. The shirt is a large one, so it's quite long. If I tucked in the front, the back would be covering the jeans, which I guess is a look. Don't mind the tags. But what a lovely, cute little outfit for a date night indeed. And yes, this shirt is lovely. I'll take the jacket off. The jacket is one of those stretchy type that I can never close because of my top. I'll just wear it open like this. The jacket is not only stretchy, but the sleeves themselves are quite long. It's almost like a sweater cute. I did wear them with my super pink shoes. And for the last Barbie outfit is just this fuchsia top with the jeans. And it's an outfit on its own, nothing else needed. So pretty. It does look similar to what my niece wore to the Barbie movie. I'm gonna put a picture of her right here with the Mattel face covering it because I'm not gonna ask her if I can use the photo. <laughs> but it's hers of course she had no sleeves on but a fuchsia top boot cut jeans and uh, coming out of a box <laughs> so before I come out with the Oppenheimer looks let's see what she says Bethany says, my approach here was if Oppenheimer was a woman living in 2023. It is subtle, powerful, a bit serious, and commands attention. Can't wait to see what she's got. This is a timeless look, you guys. All the pieces are fantastic. We have a jacket, 
She called it a green plaid blazer. Fantastic, you can wear it in a multitude of ways. A classic piece. The pants, of course, are leather, but they have a trim cut, reminiscent of the 40s and 50s, I guess. Just reminiscent of a, another era. Straight cut. And the leather definitely updates the look. The black shirt underneath is fabulous with pockets. They're very thin and even though the color is dark, it's absolutely a comfortable look for the office, even in the summer. Very somber, much like the movie. So I might have put on a few pounds and I asked Bethany to send me just to be aware. I don't know that I did, but the cool thing is she sent me a whole bunch of pull-up pants. I love that. <laughs> Super comfy. For this outfit, we're wearing khaki green wide leg jeans, which I love, black button blouse, and the black and green blazer. And she said that these jeans give a summer to fall transitional friendly version to look one. And if you add low block heels, don't forget to front tuck the shirt or just tuck it all the way around. It's just a more casual look with the green khaki pants, super fun. for the grand finale, the atomic red dress. Bethany says that this dress takes her breath away. Maybe on somebody else's body, not on mine, but it's very pretty and sexy and yes, explosive.
you guys enjoyed this fabulous collection. Bethany again now did herself. If you choose to use my link, you will get a $50 off your first purchase of a front door fashion style box. It's a great deal. And as you can see, once you work with your stylist, she really pretty much knows your body and she can fit clothes to your shape, even if you put on some weight. Ha <laughs> ha!